Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a very summery makeup look of course and I actually posted uh, a picture of this makeup look on my Instagram and I got a ton of positive feedback and y'all really seem to enjoy it. So um, at the time I had not filmed it and honestly it was just me sitting at my vanity just doing a little makeup therapy and I was just kind of playing around with some different techniques and some different colors and um, you know a bold lip and some freckles and I actually really loved the way that it turned out and I feel like sometimes when I'm not really thinking about what look I'm doing that's when I tend to do the best makeup so that's what happened and this is the look that I came up with so today I am recreating that for you and I'm going to show y'all exactly how to create this full face of makeup so before we get into the video if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel I upload every Monday Wednesday Day Friday and I would love to have you join and then also next to the subscribe button is the notification bell if you click on that you'll be notified every single time I post a new video so you don't miss out so if you want to see how I got this bright colorful summer makeup look then just keep watching okay so I've already cleansed and then uh, cleansed my skin and then I just applied a little bit of my Nivea cream which is one of my favorite moisturizers of the moment and then I prep my lips with a little bit of Elizabeth Arden cream so or eight hour cream so now we're just gonna jump right into the makeup so to further prep my skin um, and give it a nice glowy base I'm gonna go in with this Shea Moisture Daily Glow Priming Moisturizer really really like this it applies a lot like a cream but it's got a really pretty uh, golden reflect to it that's gonna give your skin that lit from within look all right so I just had to remove the priming moisturizer because I don't know if you saw this was a uh, kind of a little while back but I applied this moisturizer on top of or this primer on top of one of my moisturizers and it started pilling and clumping up and that's what was just happening again so I'm assuming that it does not mix well with my Nivea cream so I'm just going I just removed everything so my skin is bare right now and I'm gonna go back in with this priming moisturizer and apply it by itself without my Nivea cream and hopefully it doesn't pill up or anything that's so weird so I think what I'm finding with this primer is that you can't overly work it into the skin you have to just kind of blend it into the skin but don't overly blend it with your finger fingers otherwise it will tend to lift up which is kind of disappointing because um, it is a really cool product and it looks really pretty on the skin um, and then it does not pl play well with other products at all so um, just kind of a word of caution if you are thinking about trying this product out um, it doesn't work well with other moisturizers and you really cannot blend it into your skin really well so a new product that I've been incorporating in a lot of my makeup looks has been the skin food uh, well Walita skin food I don't know exactly how to pronounce it um, but this stuff is so amazing I've been using this off camera basically every single time that I do my makeup and I absolutely love this stuff so this is what I was wearing in that photo and I think it really did make a difference in my skin and in that photo I wasn't wearing any highlight at all this is the only thing that I was wearing and it gave my skin such a beautiful glossy finish so what I like to do is take my Real Techniques setting brush just take some off the back of my hand and then just apply this to the high points of my face and it gives your skin the most beautiful hydrated glossy finish and it makes your skin look so healthy and youthful and I mean just healthy like you take care of your skin really really well and it looks so beautiful and I also like to take a little bit on my nose because I tend to get really dry there and uh, my foundation tends to kind of break up there and flake off so I'm gonna take a little bit and really work that into my nose and then for my complexion I'm gonna go in with my Garnier Skin Active BB this is what I used in that photo and I love this stuff I haven't been using it in a while um, but this is a really good summer product because I have the oily what is this called the oily to combo skin one and it does have more of a matte finish so it's really nice in the summer um, if you tend to have more oily skin um, so I'm just taking this on a real techniques buffing brush and I just applied a little bit to the back of my hand and I just like to apply a little bit at a time 
just so I don't apply too much because I really don't need a ton of coverage. My skin has actually been looking really, really good lately and I think it's because of my skincare and um, I think I've really gotten a good skincare routine down for my skin that works really well. And I've also been doing the skin food um, as an overnight mask and my skin has been looking so good. So I really don't need a lot of coverage, so I'm just applying the tiniest bit just to areas where I want a little bit more coverage, um, whether it's redness or some discoloration, but like I said, I really don't need a lot of coverage, so I don't want to add too much. Just to conceal a little bit under my eyes, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Fit Me. Um, I've been using this one a lot lately, and I think I just kind of forgot about it because I've been raving about a bunch of other concealers, and I kind of... Um, forgot about this one but this is such a good under eye concealer and then I'm going to take the same setting brush that I used to uh, apply the skin food I'm going to use that to blend out my concealer and then to conceal any blemishes on my actual face I'm going to go in with the uh, number seven stay perfect blemish blemish cover concealer and I just have like some red spots right here on my cheeks and some discoloration around my nose. And then I just like to take my finger and pat those in. This is a pretty dry formula. So I like to use my finger and kind of melt it down really well. So that it actually blends into my skin. It's not just sitting right on top of my skin. So I did not use this product uh, in my photo, but I'm going to use it today. Um, so I'm going to go in with this Girlactic Dewy Skin Gloss. I just feel like for some reason when I woke up this morning, my skin was super, super dry. I don't think I drank enough water yesterday um, and we were at the pool. So um, I think my skin is just a little bit extra dry and the skin food is not really showing up as much as I would like it to. So I'm going to add a little bit of this color right to the high points of my face just for a little bit of extra glow. Because I'm finding my skin is looking a little bit more dry than normal. You can obviously skip this step. That's much better. That's definitely giving more of the glossiness that I was wanting. So that is it for creams. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. And I just like to use the tiniest bit of this. Whoa. I almost dropped this entire thing of powder that would have been not very good so I'm just gonna take a little bit out of the cap pat out any creasing and then just very lightly apply this to my under eye and then for bronzer I'm gonna go in with butter bronzer by physicians formula I have the lightest shade or light bronzer and I'm gonna take it on this real techniques uh, what is this? The Duo Fiber Face Brush. This is one of my favorite brushes when applying bronzer or blush right on top of a cream. Sometimes when you apply bronzer or blush, a powder bronzer or blush on top of your foundation or on top of a cream, it can skip or look really patchy. But if you, this brush or just any brush that kind of looks like this, kind of dual fiber, um, really nice and fluffy, this is um, really nice for applying powders on top of creams and it does not skip it does not look patchy it actually looks really really good so i just like to kind of go in with these pressing motions just so i don't disrupt the foundation and then after you lay down the initial amount of bronzer you can go in and blend it out but I just have not been wearing as much powder lately because I just find that it just dries out my skin and you can really see the powder on my skin. So I've been trying to figure out ways to layer powders on top of creams where it looks good, it doesn't look patchy. And I think the it's the tools that you use that are really going to make the biggest difference. Obviously you want a really good bronzer that's gonna blend out really well. But another big part of it is just kind of finding the right tools that are going to apply the product really well. So I highly recommend this br brush. I can't talk. It's Monday and I can't talk. And I am going to go in with a little bit of powder highlight. So I'm just going to use my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. And I'm taking this on a duo fiber brush as well. I love duo fiber brushes. 
they just apply product so effortlessly and you can use them with creams and powders they're just really nice brushes regardless of what brand you use but these ones by Real Techniques are really good and they're really affordable. So I'm just um, applying this anywhere where I applied my cream highlight. And this will also keep the cream highlight in place since we didn't apply powder all over the face. Applying a powder highlight on top of a cream highlight is just going to lock it in place. And then for blush, this is what really just... I, for me made the whole look so beautiful and so different and just really fresh so I'm going in with Milani's Coral Cove this has been one of my favorite blushes for the summertime it just gives the skin an instant pick-me-up and makes your skin look so fresh and young so I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush like this and I'm focusing the majority right here on the apples and I'm kind of bringing it right here next to my nose because um, it looks like you've um, gotten a little bit of a sunburn on your face and I just think that looks so cute so I'm applying it right here and then sweeping it backwards and you can even take a little bit on your nose as well all right so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my faux freckles so something I've been using for faux freckles lately is this NYX lip lingerie in the shade beauty mark um, and it's the perfect like brown shade for freckles um, and just the name itself beauty mark it kind of works out perfectly so I just like to take a little bit and apply it to the back of my hand just like this and my favorite brush for applying for applying freckles is the Real Techniques silicone liner brush it looks like this it's got a silicone brush tip so it's not an actual brush but it just applies it so nicely and precisely nicely and precisely <laughs> so I just take some off the back of my hand coat it really well and then I just go straight in and I naturally already have a lot of freckles so I just kind of follow the natural pattern of my own freckles and then as I go I just kind of like to pat out the freckles so that they don't look too harsh and too bold um, but the nice thing about using a liquid lip like this is that um, they're very creamy and they work they're easy to apply but then they dry down completely matte so if you can find a really good formula liquid lip formula that dries down matte and is easy to work with then um, I think it'll work perfect you definitely don't have to use this particular one but this is just the one that I had in my collection and when I was decluttering I was gonna get rid of it because I never wear liquid lipsticks anymore um, but then I thought that would be actually a really cool uh, liquid lip to use for freckles. And then something you can do to make the freckles look a little bit more natural, like they're coming from within, you can take a little bit of your blush and sweep this across your cheeks one more time. Just kind of go over top your freckles so that they look like they are coming from within your makeup. So I'm going to spray down all of the powders on my face with a little bit of my Rose Petal Facial Mist. And then for brows, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer Gel and thoroughly comb this through my brows, make them look nice and feathery. And then I'm gonna go in with my Misha Smudge Proof Wood Brow and I'm gonna lightly fill in just this bottom portion of my brows, just like always. So in the photo, on my eyes, I use this NYX lid lacquer. Um, it's just a clear gloss for the eyes. And honestly, it didn't even show up. And these are not the most comfortable to wear if you've ever worn a gloss on your lids. It basically feels like you're applying clear lip gloss to your eyelids. So it's not the most practical thing. But um, at the time, I was just kind of playing around and I wanted some glossy lids. But honestly, this barely showed up. It's not... It wasn't as shiny and true, like super, super reflective like I wanted it to be. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm just going to take a little bit of this Girlactic Dewy Skin Gloss. I'm going to take the same shade and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. I feel like this is a lot more high shine and it also just feels a lot more comfortable on my eyes. And I'm applying this all over my eyelid and taking it all the way up to my brow. And actually, because I really want this to be super glossy, I'm gonna go in with that Maybelline highlight. I'm gonna take this on my finger. I'm not, I don't wanna apply too much, so I'm just kinda taking some of it off my hand 
and then I'm gonna pat this right on top of that gloss all right so now I'm just going to curl my lashes and then for mascara L'Oreal Lash Paradise waterproof version as always Okay, so they just started doing yard work outside, so I'm so sorry if you can hear that, but we are almost done. We're just going to do the lip next. So to line my lips, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade Matte in Manhattan. I have used this on my channel before. It's a really nice, bright, warm red, um, and it's a nice matte formula, so it'll dry down and it's not gonna move anywhere. And then for my actual lip color, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Lipstick in the shade Pretty Persimmon. This has been one of my favorite reds I mean, since I started doing makeup, this is such a good uh, formula, and this is also a beautiful color. It's kind of a orangey red, and I think it's so perfect for the summertime. Alright guys, so that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this inspired you to try some new techniques and use some colors in your summer makeup routine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope y'all are having a blessed week as always and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.